just a simple kind of bampy look that I wanted to do. So I'm just going to go ahead. I am not priming my lid or anything like that. I had already done my eyebrows and all that. I wasn't planning to film a video, but I've been doing this kind of eyeliner thing lately a lot. So I wanted to go ahead and do that for you guys so you guys can kind of see what I was, I'm was. i kind of doing. So first of all, what I go ahead and do, I go with Makeup Geek's um, Frappe Shadow. And I'm just going with a Sedona Lace. 863 brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this shadow right onto the crease and this is just going to give me definition and then so it doesn't just look plain so I just want to go ahead and do that if you want to go ahead and do like dramatic and you know makeup you can go ahead and do that but this is what I've been doing lately see that right on the crease and then you just want to go ahead and kind of wipe off the brush a little bit and then kind of just blend everything so it looks nice and well and blended so for eyeliner I'm still practicing how to do my eyeliner it's kind of I don't know I've never actually got how to do the eyeliner it I always get one eye that looks better than the other eye so yeah so I'm going to show you guys I'm actually using two eyeliners right now. So I got this Maybelline Master Duo by Studio. It looks like this. Um, I feel like my hair looks flat. Um, and it looks like this. Um, I think that it doesn't have any more or something because every time I use it, it kind of looks kind of like a black faded. But it has this kind of like point i don't know if you guys can see it you could either do like a line or you can do like a thick supposedly that's what it is for so if you go like if you put it like this you'll make like a thin line but if you switch it like this it'll actually make like a fat like eyeliner um so i'm using that one but since i'm guessing it doesn't have any more i'm actually using the liquid from this eyeliner from right here and i have no idea um L'Oreal this is a L'Oreal eyeliner and you know a lot of people think that it's easier to do it with this kind of thing but I still don't have like the steady hand so it kind of sucks can't do it so I'm just sticking it in there to get the liquid out of that one so I can use this one okay so I'm going to go ahead and try to actually do eyeliner you guys it's hard for me to do the eyeliner especially if I'm going to be recording it I can't talk and record so I'm just going to go ahead and grab my MAC. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Oh my god. Okay. Well, if I messed up, it'll be caught on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to start lining. You guys can see I'm already kind of messed up here, but hopefully with the eyelashes, it'll hide it. I just kind of lay the brush onto my eye and then just kind of like push it in so that there's product on there. So that's what I'm kind of doing here because this one is intended to be like a thin you can hear Haley just said what it. Uh, so you want to do that. I always have an issue getting both eyeliners to look the same. The wings. So. Oh gosh. Let me move the hair out of the way before somebody starts saying something about it. There. Okay. So. So. Here we go. So I'm just going to fill this in and then you want to make the eyeliner come from and then bring it in so it goes from like thin to like kind of and I already messed up so you guys can see it's kind of messed up already
see this is it's kind of hard for me I still am practicing but you guys get the idea but I'm not going to clean it up or anything I'm just going to leave it like it is it doesn't look that bad so yeah so I'm just going to kind of let it dry a little bit then I'm going with my eyelashes I don't know the name of them I've been using them on and off so I need to go buy new eyelashes. I'm just going to apply some eyelash glue to them. And just kind of blow on it so it'll kind of dry a little bit. I think these are like Red Cherry 79. I think that's what they are. I think so because that's what I have in my desk. So yeah, I think that's it. So I'm just going to blow on them. People ask me why you guys why you never wear um like a dark lip. Husband doesn't like it, so I try not to wear it. Maybe when he's around because he doesn't like it, he tells me you look weird, babe. Take that off. You look weird. So okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the eyelash as close as I can to my lash line. And I do have a video on how to apply lashes, so if you want to go ahead and check that out. So I already applied it. And then I just kind of wait until the eye, the lash glue dries, and then I go ahead and go over it with some eyeliner just to hide the band. So I'm just going to wait for that to do. I'm going to go ahead and take the lip uh, lipstick off and then kind of redo it. Yeah, it says this for eyeliner, but I'm going to use it as a lip liner. And then I'm going to be using Gerard Cosmetics Cherry Cordial. It's a Bampy lip stick. So, yeah. So you guys know I like kind of over drying my lips a little bit lately. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to kind of, so you kind of twist it so the little thing comes out. So I'm just going to, I hate that I don't have a mirror like right in front of me so that I can um, show you guys directly what I'm doing. So just gonna try to Get as close as I can to you guys and then you guys can see So I kind of overline it like on top So this kind of looks like when you get a tattoo, that kind of blue ink thing, but it's okay because I'm going to go ahead and cover it with lipstick. So I kind of look funny right now, but you want to kind of like darken the outer corners of the lip just so that it gives you like that gradient. You'll see what I'm talking about now. So I'm going, you can grab red lip or whatever lipstick you want to. I'm grabbing this Cherry Cordial by... Gerard Cosmetics. I'll put a link on the bottom bar for you guys and a discount code for you guys if you guys want to get it. And see, I kind of just mix it into the black.
So then you would just want to go ahead and grab some mascara and apply some mascara to the top and bottom lashes just to kind of conjoin. And then I just leave the bottoms alone. I feel like I look kind of more clean. I don't know, for some reason I like it. For the inner corner, we're going to go ahead and add um, Makeup Geeked Shimmer Shimmer. And I'm just going to apply that right in the inner corner just to brighten up the look a little bit. Since we don't have a lot going on, we still kind of want that little glam, kind of glimmery, glittery, kind of shimmery look. So you just want to go ahead and do that. For the second lip combination, I, you guys know, I've been using this lip color a lot. So when the hubby doesn't let me kind of want to go a little bit vampy on him, I have to actually go with my um, lip combination that I would go. So in my other videos, you guys seen I've been using some Blind Culture by MAC. And I kind of do the same thing, kind of overlying my lips a little bit. You're not going to be able to see it because the other lipstick kind of does uh, stain your lips. So that's why they look kind of already colored. So it doesn't really matter because I'm going to cover it anyways with the lipstick. You can hear Gina in the back. So the other one is Peach Stock from MAC. And I just kind of... Kind of looks weird since my lips are stained, but it does go away. It's just that the lips is really the lipstick is really like um, pigmented, so that's why it stains your lips. But yeah, so I kind of look weird for some reason because of that stain thing. But this is usually the lip combination that I go with, and then I kind of just go and grab some powder and kind of just powder it on top and yes so this is lip combination number two you guys know this is more of my comfort zone this is like what i would normally be out wearing anyways but sometimes i'm like i want to try something different i want to do red lips or bambi ba did i just say bambi i said bampi Vampy, like vampire look. <laughs> and yeah, but yeah. So yes, so this is the final look. It was really easy, you guys. It's something that I've been doing a lot lately since I don't like want to be doing my makeup like every day. So I just go ahead and do eyeliner, a little bit of shadow on the crease, and then maybe like a red or, you know, this kind of lip color. Um... So yeah, so let me know what you guys think. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos. I love you guys all so much and have a great weekend. Bye. It's amazing how you knock me off my feet. Every time you come around me, I get weak. Contando en tus manos, así que no me dejes caer. Sabes que soy. Contando en tus manos, me olvido cada más de mí. Hopefully that shit's not gonna get copyright. Oh shit.